Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange, and this week in 3D Metal Model News. Starting of course with fascinations, I've got a little bit of information and some possible rumors this week for you. You may have already noticed some new things popping up on the What's New, or not What's New, but Coming Soon page of Fascination or Metal Earth website. A couple of planes have snuck in there, planes that we've seen previews what was the beginning of the year during the uh, New York Comic Con? There is the P 40 Warhawk as well as the U 2 Dragon Lady are now listed on the site. But the one that I think a lot of people were waiting for, except for those who are tired of Star Wars, we have the Darth Vader model coming soon. And theoretically, this is a finalized version, though prepare yourself just in case some minor details change between them posting us up and it actually being produced because that has happened before but anyway three more models in the coming soon category and with them with fascinations with metal earth recently releasing hogwarts and snow boba fett and deadpool hopefully things are back on track and we'll start getting more models i say hopefully that leads me into the next unconfirmed rumor what I've heard, and again, this is unconfirmed, so don't hold me to it, is that the Kawasaki GPX-90R, which is apparently the Top Gun Kawasaki from the movie, and the U-2 Dragon Lady are set to come out on or around August 14th. So a little bit of time down the road, but we are towards the end of the month, not too much longer. And then the Darth Vader model and the P-40 Warhawk are more set towards the end, uh, 31st of August. So, unconfirmed timetable. I can't, don't hold me to that, but that's what I'm hearing. That's what we're thinking, or what I'm hearing is, is the supposed time frame. I will point out that Metal Earth tends to not give out solid time frames like that because delays happen and they're frequently outside of anybody's control and the time that we're in now with pandemic and shipping issues all over the place i have not only experienced shipping issues with these models but spent uh, almost a month waiting for a shed through walmart i worked a rubber made shed and it was supposed to take about a week and it was delayed and it showed up and they didn't even bother to tell me but that's a whole other story so point being these are the dates. We hope things will stick to this, if not sooner, but be prepared. This is not confirmed. I also heard a little rumor uh, about a model number, a Mandalorian ICX-146. Sorry, I had to uh, double check because I thought I was going to read it wrong. Again, this is unconfirmed, but this, this suggests, this model number suggests that one of the models that we're getting for the Mandalorian line of stuff because there was a a blip about that a few newsletters back is an actual Mandalorian model again unconfirmed but it would be no surprise and that's kind of cool I've also been told there's still no release date for the Terminator model that was also hinted back at Comic-Con but I've heard quite a few I mean we've seen the model and I heard hints about that before the model came out so that one's coming it's just a big, huge matter of when. Apparently not in within the next month or so. And then an almost odd turn of events. Peace Cool is pretty quiet this week, or at least as of, say, 8 p.m. last night. It's when I did 90% of my research. Uh, there was still nothing new from Peace Cool's website, nothing coming out. But they have been kind of fairly steadily putting some out, so stuff out. So no big surprise there. Uh, do want to point out that most of this information comes from about 8 p.m. Friday night. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of in my scrubs. I literally just come home from work. I've been at work all day and uh, jumped on and double-checked a couple of things and I'm recording this video to try and get it out to you. So some things may have changed in the past 20, almost 24 hours, giving you as up-to-date news as I can. And one thing I did see, and I did get this information and double-checked it today, um, today at 4 p.m. is some more upcoming models from MU. Last week I talked about the palm size or finger model size models that they uh, were coming out with. Still not seeing them in any stores. 
on their page they do they have added a couple of more models to it well it didn't translate a lot of information there was some translated already basically it shows uh, the legend of high guild hull which is one of the nifty looking models that they have with a dimension completed dimension of 155 by 125 by 150 millimeters looks like if I've got this correct it's two 250 by 190 millimeter sheets one 125 by 95 millimeter sheet and one 125 by 19 millimeter sheet making up that model this appears to be like the 430 stainless 195 pieces and a six star rating the other model that they show details about is the Legend of Hai Huxian's Room. That one's 105 by 96 by 90 millimeters. It's got two 110 by 190 millimeter sheets and two 55 by 95 millimeter sheets. Also 430 stainless and I think 73 pieces. So not a big piece count. And that one has a five star difficulty. Now those are the two they give information on, so those are the two we're expecting. However, I will point out that if you, if I'll put a link into it in the description down below to the page I'm looking at, there's a lot of like photos before you get toward the bottom where it gives information. And in those photos there's like a close up or two of figures. So I'm wondering if they're going to come out with more figures somewhere down the road, kind of like I think Peace Cool did it. I'm not sure if MU's done that or not, but Peace Cool did. But they have like little people little kids and stuff like that kind of in the scenery so I'm, I'm wondering if that's maybe a later thing or if that's just scenery that they have kind of a question there but again looking around on aliexpress i did not see the new mu model finger sized models but i did see the peace cool dragon gate bookends the courtyard house and the dragon gate carps that i talked about very recently seen those on funny model store new york model store so superb toy store steel golem and magical model stores i'll put links in the description all of the into all of those different aliexpress stores down i'll put links to those in the description down below if you want to check those out whichever store you feel like ordering from i think i have had experience with magical model store before not sure about the rest i've ordered a few different things from crazy oh not aliexpress but i don't always remember with who now Crazy Toys, a name that comes up often, and does have an AliExpress site, and they also have their own website. And there's some differences between the two. On the AliExpress site, AliExpress site, uh, I talked about an Iron Star model once before. Now I think I missed it. Maybe somebody tells me I may have missed it. But there was also an Iron Star photo frame. So I don't know if Iron Star is a new manufacturer. So we have two different models with the Iron Star name. Kind of neat looking. I put links to that in the description down below. The Iron Star photo frame, stainless iron, 16 by 11 by 7.5 centimeters completed, multicolor, four sheets, 22 by 11 centimeter sheets, three out of five stars. Uh, again, this is the second of the star uh, fan or star. I talked about the Iron Star one fan before this is like a, another similar named model and but on the aliexpress.co.uk on their website they show a couple of uh or show a picture kingdom champion 3d metal model now this one looks kind of familiar and i couldn't find any record of me talking about it before but i could be wrong so if i'm repeating myself i apologize because again Peace Cool and MU and, and Micro World will sometimes come out in very similar models. So this looks familiar, but it may be something that's similar to something somebody else came out with. But give you the information 20.6 by 10.5 by 17 centimeters, completed size, stainless iron or stainless steel, six and a half sheets, 228 pieces, multicolor, five out of seven stars on that one. Again, links in the description down below. And then on an MMZ model store, which I talked about a little bit some time back, don't continue to talk about it. I think MMZ does a lot of, does, seems to do some recolors of Peace Cool models, but I think these are unique. Again, these may be older than I've just missed them or they've kind of resurfaced as new to the store. 
but I'm not sure. They look kind of neat. It's a couple of micro world models. There's a micro worlds submarine model. It's kind of big and bulky looking. 10.5 by 4 by 6 or centimeters. Uh, gold and, it says gold and silver, but I don't know why it says gold and silver. One sheet and a three star difficulty. And then there's the micro world tactical conveyor is what the name of it is. It just basically looks like a plane. Stainless iron and brass, 10.5 by 12.3 by 6.5. Also says gold and silver, though I don't know why. Two sheets, three stars. I'm wondering if it's just some sort of odd translation. They meant to say in color. I'm not, or maybe there's gold and silver sheets. I don't know why both of them say that, but that's what that is. And that's about it for this week as far as new models. There is another AliExpress store I was recently turned on to, but I just haven't had the time to research and see what they've got. I think they also had these same two micro world models, and there was a couple other models somebody sent me links to, but again, I just haven't had the time to, to research it and include that in this week's, but I'll try to get more information about this other store next week. Just a lot of different things going on, and this is the weekend that I worked, so my schedule was kind of... I literally was falling asleep last night trying to do some research and just had to call it a night. Just It's one of those days where I was tired, and I apologize. But I'm going to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about last week's topic. Last week I mentioned how I'm still working on... I still got a couple more entries. A couple people sent me emails with uh, a very, very recent, like the past day or two with um, a couple of more entries for the Pass the Model Challenge. And I just haven't even responded to the emails. And I apologize, I've been busy. We'll get those included as well. So I'm still working on that. But I was talking about the next time I do something like this Pass the Model Challenge, doing a, a build where it's the same, like larger model that people do sections and pass the section, the next person does their section and something like that. And what do you think of that? And I got a few responses. Uh, from one Logan Springer, Logan said, you know, commented on, wow, you read my comments. I think the Pass the Iconics model is a great idea. And I would definitely participate. It would have to be a model that has a lot of pieces, but I have no idea what it would be. And that's, you know, that is one of the challenges. The big thing that comes to mind to me is something like MU, actually. Uh, something with, that is really big, I'm, I'm bigger than Iconics, that has multiple pieces. I could easily do something like that with some of the Transformers models that I have over here because they're just, they, they literally have sections that end up coming together at the end. So, but yeah, we have to think about what model it would be. Code Wookie, of course, I like that idea. I think it might be a good idea to figure out how many people are up for participating first and then decide on the model to do as the number of participants might help determine how big of a model to do. Also, maybe we should do something silly like a snap to cut between the parts as received. And that's not a bad idea. I appreciate that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Starting a new page. To cut between the parts as received to what we are going to pass on to the next builder. Bonus points if there can be a flash at the same time as the snap. As long as nothing turns to dust, I think that would be an excellent idea. So thank you, CodeWookie, for that. George Bell, I like the sound of that second compilation video. Like before, I'm definitely up for it if you get enough people and we can find a way to coordinate it. And coordination is going to be key. We might actually have to just kind of decide on a model, see how many people want to do it, and if there's enough people, have more than one. That's a thought as well. Maybe even do different models. We'll have to see how many people are willing to do that because it, it's going to be something we're all going to have to go buy and do our own piece and it's probably not going to be in the $10 bin. Just saying. Battlement, I think it would be a great community project. I suggest you open a poll with several options to see what we would like to build then find out how many people want to participate to build the chosen model and assign parts to the participants. Please allow for several weeks for those of us who are not in the States to order and receive the model chosen and to build the assigned parts. We should also set a video standard 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second and that's, that's a good standard. 
Um, I didn't set that this time because I just, or for the for the last one, because I just wanted as many people to participate and have fun with it and see what we can do. But I agree with that. We should all have a standard. Make sure it's widescreen and and make sure it's you know right side up. But I could fix some of that. But yes, going on and set a time so that the video time and quality would be fairly similar between all participants. It would be a fun project that I would love to partake in. And that's another good point, time. Everybody gets so much time, so many seconds to show off their piece and snap or flash or dance or whatever to the next one. Sorry, the dance is a joke. I've been, I've been saying a lot of things about dance lately, but that's a good idea. We definitely should format it better and putting this first compilation together is going to be a learning exercise for me and tell me and has been telling me what I'd like to do differently next time so excellent suggestions and I will definitely have to take them into thought I will say maybe for this week's question if this is something you think is a good idea even if you're not going to participate what models would you suggest maybe you've built a model that would work well for this that's several pieces that would come together Leave some suggestions down below of something you would think to work that would work for this that we could have several people build in sections and uh, give me something to put a poll together out of. So definitely leave your comments down below and I will certainly read them next week and hopefully have some progress on this current one. Uh, it might take next weekend before I have the time to sit down and actually finish putting it together. I've done a little bit clip some stuff out, flip some things over, uh, smooth some cuts out, but I still got to plug it all together and try to make things run more smoothly. So anyway, leave your leave your suggestions of good models, my, uh, Metal Earth, Iconics, MU, Microworld, whatever, and uh, give us something to talk about. I'm going to leave it at that though. So thank you for watching. Thank you to my Patreon supporters for continuing to support this channel. I apologize. Um, if any of the information is a little bit outdated, uh, this is a work weekend, so a little bit of a struggle to try and get this out. And it's possible this video might not get up by 6 o'clock, but I'm going to do my best. So if it's not up by 6, again, I apologize. Still working out this new time frame and how to make manage all of this. And just things were working against me uh, the past day off and such. I'll quit rambling on. Thank you for watching. And as always, keep on keeping on.